Oh boy. <laughs> I guess we uh, burnt down the entire forest this time. Okay. Well, welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. When we left you, we had an we had been having an awkward dinner with uh, Rachel Amber's parents. That didn't go over so well. Rachel broke a table. And now I'm not quite sure where we're headed. But I'm ready to see where we're going with it. I think this should be the last episode. Um, I did look to see how many episodes there were in this game. And I think there were only three plus a bonus episode. So this game is actually pretty rather short compared to... The original Life is Strange and uh, Life is Strange 2, because I think Life is Strange 2 has five, uh, five episodes as well. But this one only has three plus a bonus episode, so I think this time we're ready to conclude Life is Strange Before the Storm. Kind of disappointed that it's so short, but I guess there is wasn't much room to have a giant story considering that a lot of these characters' fates are already predetermined because it is a, a prequel. So there's there's only so far you can go, I guess. Anyway, let's continue on with the game. Let's finish this game. Episode three, hell is empty. Yep, this is the last episode. Let's do this. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Ah, uh, and there's the bombshell of this game. All right, now I guess we unpack that situation. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here yes. for- Yes, Chloe stays. Of course. Don't take that tone. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Mm. 
Okay, is this some weird dream sequence? Not sure what this is. Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. There's nothing else to look at besides Sarah? Or is that Sarah? I was in high school. Oh, it is. There was one oh. person everyone adored. What does that sound like? Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. You know who Rachel's dad reminds me of? That dude, me. Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> Sometimes. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. This is a very interesting way to, she to was so alive, tell their story. So passionate about Instead of everything. just having them sit at the couch monologuing. Though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college and careers families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Again, it sounds very familiar here. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. Sarah has her bracelet. It's Rachel's Becoming bracelet. Your father. It's the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Sin, oh, drugs. Oh, boy. For over a year. Some nasty stuff. I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, She would never do anything to hurt you. But I'm guessing this is leading to... But she did. <laughs> I was wrong. Eventually, oh, I saw her. Look at all those track marks. For who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. We circle back to the reunion in the park. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss. He's submitting for this love. when his wife is I sitting right her. beside him. And I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives 
she's destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I sent her money. Every single Hush month. money? It's our arrangement. Hush money. <laughs> but now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the the fact that Coming she from wants the DA, to see I don't me, think he thinks that. I mean she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. God, that was an awkward conversation. Group message. No. Cast party. I don't think that is anywhere near what we're thinking about right now. Okay. I'm, in, I'm done with that. I, I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Do you have anything else to say? <sighs> Um, this must be hard for you, too, Mr. Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. Sounds so like that's, that's where she's headed. Her. You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. Oh, that broken table. But That's going to be expensive. Shouldn't to that replace. be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. She's always going to want to know more. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. We know she is. Chloe, she was I believe Rachel trusts. She was you in Frank's van when we saw right her. Now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Mm, I see where this is headed. That is something I will always do. We're She's probably so going to have to make a decision of you either to encourage true. Rachel to meet her mother but or... But I know you've experienced loss. To sway her, her away from, from that. that. Please. 
Mm. I'll do what I can. I care about her too. I will do what I think is best, I I guess. Thank you. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. It's so weird to look at this now. Rose. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Sorry, Rose. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Yeah, let's offer some help. Do you need any help with... anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway. Door to the left. The breezeway. (laughs) Howdy, broom. Shirt. Hey. Cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this. Wait, can I take it? Oh, I can take it. Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Okay. Not quite sure what the significance of that was, but sure. Alright, we have the broom. Here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty (laughs) awkward, I imagine. Yeah, just a little bit. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role. Yeah, in where the where truth. are you in this story? When does Rose come in? Doesn't matter how painful it is. You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right. But can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. Yeah, what about that? It might be hard for you to understand, but after... 13 years of marriage? I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. Rose. Yeah, you be secure. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. Oh, I don't know whose side I'm on. Thank you, Chloe. Like, under normal circumstances, I think it would be a good idea for Rachel to meet her mom, but then there's the whole she could be dangerous thing. So I don't know. 
Alright, I guess we should go console Rachel. 